while he was on one of his hikes, a veteran park ranger found a lone she-wolf that wouldn't move from her spot on the ground. When he saw what was under her, he called the cops right away. Tom Garcia was a ranger in a national park in California, USA. The park was known for its vast expanse of land nestled in the mountain range. It was a land of awe-inspiring natural beauty. With majestic mountains, glistening lakes, cascading waterfalls, and lush forests, Tom took great pride in his job of protecting the wildlife and environment. He had been a ranger for many years and had become very familiar with the forest and its inhabitants. The ranger's love for nature and wildlife had begun at an early age. Young Tom grew up in a small town near the forest, and his parents would often take him on camping trips and hikes in the surrounding wilderness. They instilled in him a deep appreciation for the natural world and taught him to be a responsible caretaker of the environment. As a young adult, Tom attended college and earned a degree in environmental science. He was passionate about conservation and wanted to make a difference. After graduation, he worked for a few years as an environmental consultant but found the work unsatisfying. He felt disconnected from nature and missed the feeling of being outdoors. One day, while hiking in the forest, Tom met a ranger who was patrolling the area. The ranger told Tom about his job and how he was responsible for protecting the wildlife and environment in the forest. The young man was fascinated by the ranger's stories and knew that this was the kind of work he wanted to do. Tom applied to become a ranger and went through a rigorous training program. He excelled in the academy and quickly became one of the top performing rangers in his district. He was passionate about his work and took every opportunity to learn more about the forest and its inhabitants. Over the years, Tom became known for his dedication to conservation and ability to connect with visitors to the forest. He had a natural talent for educating people about the environment and wildlife and inspired others to care more about the earth like himself. As part of his duties, Tom would often patrol the area to check for signs of poaching, illegal hunting, or other activities that might harm the wildlife or environment. He often spent his free time hiking and exploring the forest, always eager to discover something new. Whenever he went on solitary hikes, he enjoyed immersing himself in the natural world around him. Sometimes, Tom would take detours from his usual routes, branching out to explore new trails or parts of the park he hadn't seen before. He enjoyed the sense of adventure that came with exploring new terrain and was always eager to see what he would discover. Little did he know that one day he would find something truly remarkable. One sunny afternoon, the ranger had been patrolling the forest for several hours, checking trails and monitoring wildlife, when he heard an unusual sound. Tom froze and listened instantly, trying to identify the source of the noise. After a few moments, he realized that the sound was coming from a clearing up ahead. Cautiously, he made his way through the bushes, keeping his eyes and ears peeled for any signs of danger. As he got closer, he could see a lone she-wolf in the center of the clearing. The wolf lay on the ground and looked intently at him, as though daring him to move closer. The ranger did not want to be on the receiving end of the wolf's aggression and decided to turn back. However, he could not take his mind off of it. There seemed to be something strange about her, but he couldn't pinpoint what it was. Wolves usually roam in packs, but she was all alone in the middle of a clearing, even though she didn't seem hurt or lost. He thought about the wolf all night and decided he would go check on her as soon as possible to make sure she was all right. The next day, he made his way to the clearing after getting off work. To his utmost surprise, the wolf lay in the same spot and position as the previous day. On a closer look, Tom noticed that she was crouched over something. It looked like she was trying to hide it from him. The ranger could not make out what was under the wolf and decided to take a closer look. Tom approached slowly, taking care not to startle her. As he drew near, she growled louder and snapped her jaws menacingly. Then she stood up and bared her teeth at Tom. Now that the wolf was up on her feet, the man got a glimpse of what was under her. For a brief second, he remained completely still, frozen in front of that unexpected surprise. Then his instincts took over. Tom stepped back slowly, trying to signal to the wolf that he was not a threat to her, and called the police. He also radioed for immediate backup, then he hid behind a tree and kept a watchful eye on the situation. His heart raced as he watched the wolf growl and snap at anything that came too close to her. Forest animals, falling leaves, 
and even small insects all got a taste of her teeth and claws. The treasure she was protecting lay quietly on the ground and seemed unharmed, but Tom knew that the situation was dangerous. The she-wolf must have belonged to a local pack, but her friends were nowhere to be seen. If they came back and sensed his presence, they might attack him, and in doing so they could endanger the thing the wolf was protecting so fiercely. He also couldn't write off the possibility that her pack would try to snatch the thing from her and hurt it in the process. Tom knew he had to act fast. He inched closer to the wolf, holding his hands out to show he meant no harm. To his surprise, the wolf didn't attack him. Instead, it simply stood between him and her protege, watching him with intensity. Tom took it as a good sign and moved even closer. As he reached out to pick up the creature though, the wolf snarled and lunged towards him. Tom stepped back, knowing that he couldn't risk provoking her into attacking him. He could only wait and hope that his team came quickly. The wolf seemed to understand that something was about to happen because she got up again and started growling towards him. Tom held his breath until the police and his colleagues arrived. Then he narrated what he had seen, and everybody looked in disbelief as the wolf bared her teeth again, willing to fight a dozen men to protect none other than a human baby. A few experts were called on the scene, and after a brief discussion, they found a way to get the wolf away from the baby. The canine was hit with a small sedative, and a nurse jumped in on the scene to check on the child. Surprisingly, the baby was in perfect health. The wolf must have taken good care of it for at least 24 hours. The poor little thing was taken into protective custody while the police looked for its parents. It must have been abandoned, but it also might have been lost. Maybe someone was looking for it, and it would be just as surprised as them to know that a wolf had taken such good care of it. Meanwhile, Tom stayed with the wolf to make sure that she was okay. The sedative was wearing off, and he didn't want her to wake up all alone without the baby. When she came to, she seemed anxious and confused, but after a few hours in his company, she relaxed and eventually left the area. She obviously couldn't tell him how she'd found that baby or what had made her decide to protect it instead of eating it, but somehow she had realized that the small creature in the forest needed her help. Tom was left with a sense of awe and wondered at how maternal instincts could transcend species. The ranger had always cherished his experiences in the forest, but this was one he would never forget. And that's our story for today. How do you think the baby came to be in the forest in the first place? Do you think the she-wolf would have gone against her pack if they had tried to snatch the baby from under her? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.